My wife used to say I was a hard man to know. Like a closed book. She complained about it all the time. She was beautiful. God, I loved her. I killed her red. I didn't pull the trigger. I drove her away. And that's why she died, because of me. And the way I am. That'll make you a murderer. Bad husband, maybe. Feel bad about it if you want. But you didn't pull the trigger. No. Somebody else did. And I wound up here. Bad luck, I guess. Bad luck, Jesus. Eh, it floats around. It was my turn, that's all. I was in the path of the tornado. I just didn't think the storm would last as long as it has. You think you'll ever get out of here? Sure. When I got a long white beard and about three marbles left rolling around upstairs. <laughs> I'll tell you where I'd go. Zewatanao. Zewatanan? Zewatanao. It's in Mexico. It's a little place down in the Pacific. You know what the Mexicans say about the Pacific? They say it has no memory. And that's where I'd like to live out the rest of my life. It's a nice, warm place with no memory. Open up a hotel on the beach. Find some worthless old boat and fix it up new. Take my guests out. Charter fishing. You know, a place like that, I could uh, use a man who knows how to get things. <laughs> Jesus, Sandy. I couldn't hack it on the outside. Been in here too long. I'm an institutional man now. You understand. Like old Brooks Halton was. You underestimate yourself. Bullshit. And here, I'm the guy who can get it for you. Out there, all you need are yellow pages. I wouldn't know where to begin. Pacific Ocean, hell. Like to scare me to death, something that big. Not me. I didn't shoot my wife and I didn't shoot her lover. Any mistakes I've made, I've paid for and then some. That hotel, that boat, I don't think that's too much to ask. Just stare up at the stars after sunset. Walk in the sand, feel free. God damn it, Andy, stop. Don't do that to yourself. Talking shitty pipe dreams. Mexico's down there and you're in here, and that's the way it is. Yeah, you're right. It's down there and I'm in here. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Get busy living and get busy dying. Andy! Fred, if you ever get out of here, do me a favor. There's this big hay field up near Buxton. You know where Buxton is? Um, lots of hay fields there. Well, one in particular. It's got a big oak tree at the north end, like something out of a Robert Frost poem. It's where I asked my wife to marry me. We went there for a picnic and made love under that tree. And I asked and she said yes. Over there, you'll find a rock that has no earthly business in a main hayfield. It's a piece of black volcanic glass like this. Under it, you'll find something buried I want you to have. What? What's buried there? You just have to pry it up and find out. <laughs> 